So right now we're at this alleyway um, at our friend Jordan's house. Did you tell him we were coming? Yeah. Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Oh, it's Jordan. He's on the thing. Yeah. How's it going? What's up? So I, I have to do everything manual. Yeah, success. I have to do everything manual because the auto exposure mode doesn't work on this camera yet. Auto exposure mode. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing manual stuff. We're gonna test out 4K and slow motion, and then. We're gonna take a few photos too. Excellent. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm excited. It's gonna be sweet. Mm -hmm. I love sweet it. is organic honey. <laughs> organic From the honey. local bee. It's gonna be company. smooth. It's actually, we're gonna, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna record Jordan and slow motion 1080 10 bit C log on the Canon R6 just to see what it looks like. It's a little past golden hour, it's getting a little dark. But let's try it. Hey, Scott. No allow me to reintroduce myself. They call me J O N to the easy E. Yeah. Huh. Know that we undefeated. Y'all are beneath them speeds. Just trying to air a grievance. But his lines are overhead. Better check the air for clearance. Call the tower. This is our credit. He the air apparent. Uh -huh. Really, I've never been better. Yeah. Legacy, this is forever. Huh. All the more times I've been seven. I'm raising the bar. You can go ahead and measure. Yeah. Think about time for a joke. Wow. Yeah. See, this is a uh, C log. It's desaturated. It's a. Uh, so that way I can get all the clouds in it and everything when I edit it. Slow motion. Now Lacey, we're gonna get her uh, longboarding. Here, Lacey, give me a second. I'm gonna go ahead and get... I'm gonna get beside you first like this. Go ahead. Let's make it sure that you know why, because this is forever. And there will be no surrender. So Jordan's gonna be doing longboarding. Do you want me to do some slow motion with it? Sure. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do slow motion longboard. I'm gonna try to get it a little bit more cinematic than before. It's all handheld. I have a gimbal, but I just wanted to see how good the stabilization on this was. So this time we're gonna get it going this way, because that's gonna make you all mobile and stuff. Yeah. Or do you wanna come down Artist Alley? Let's do that. Okay, so let's come down. Yeah, go this way. But be careful, don't hurt yourself. Things that I'm gonna be feeling like a god because this is forever. And there will be no surrender. Okay, so we did some slow motion tests, just rudimentary, handheld, no gimbal or anything like that. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just test out like the high end uh, 4K, it's 5.2K down sample to get like the crispiest 4K ever, aside from the R5, but who needs AK? I do. No, I'm just kidding. So anyway, we're gonna do the uh, 4K test. The, the slow motion looks really good on here. I haven't looked at it on the computer yet or tried to grade it. But we'll do that later. Let's do the 4K thing. Buck, see what this looks like. There are some wobbles, as you can see in the corners because of the IBIS. But uh, the new update's gonna take care of that like on the R5, I'm sure. But for the most part, this is super still. It looks like I'm on like a track. <laughs> it's crazy. And you can, hey Lacey, come up here. So, what are doing? filming. Filming for what? For YouTube. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, um, the Ibis works really well, it's great. I just can't, <laughs> I can't believe I can see the clouds and his face and everything, it's like awesome. I can see the colors in the clouds and the shadows in his face without there being any issues or anything like that. Yeah, oh yeah, I should film Lacey filming. Lacey's helping film just like Jordan is. She's got, she's got like all kinds of modes that don't work on this yet, but it's all good. I'm very bitter about that. It's, it's an expensive camera. Um, okay, we're going, let's go get the hoop and the staff and then go behind the place. This is very meta. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be switching out between both memory cards to access the... Yep. 
files for at least that segment. Yep. Sweet. So, yeah, go ahead, open that trunk. Oh, do I have to unlock it? Oh yeah, I brought a stool for photos. Nice. You gonna do some hooping and staffing? Mm -hmm. Nice. You got any hoops or staffs? Uh, no, but I want to get uh, some booging. Is that like poi? Oh, it's like a S staff. Oh yeah, look, those things are cool. This is the so this is the R6. I'm filming with the ERSR right now. Lacey's back here doing stuff. We're about to go film her do some staff stuff and some other stuff. Jordan's gonna go get into some fancy clothes, maybe, I don't know, because we're going to do like a f photo shoot thing later, and, um, but yeah, I'm using the USR right now because that's where the mic is and I just didn't want to move it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's got the 24 to 105 LRF lens on it, and it looks great, and uh, what I've been using on the R6 is the 16 to 35 L Mark III, which is amazing. It's a little slower for autofocus, but I just love it. And you do get the wobbles from the ultra wide with this IBIS, but like I said, they have updates that are coming that are going to fix that. Um, this camera is just amazing, though. Like, I love it. Aside from not having, like, the same... I just probably don't know the camera well enough yet to, like, get the kind of settings that I usually use uh, nailed down. I've had it for one day. So, I'll just give it some time. So... I'm on the R right now because the R6, you've seen how much we filmed this already, right? Very little. The R6 overheated. Do it. Yeah, I like the way you do it. I like the way you move it, move it. But anyway, so yeah, we're on the USR right now, letting that cool down for a few minutes because I really want to shoot the high quality um, 4K on it and just like keep shooting that so, because that's what's next. But all we've done is I've taken some pictures, and I filmed a little bit in 4K, but a lot in 1080. Uh, you probably can't even tell the difference, to be honest, though. So I'm going to let it chill out for 10 minutes or so, and I'll get 10 minutes of recording time back-ish. Hopefully it's not that hot out. And then we're going to go film uh, some spinning of the staff and hoop and do some photos, which is going to be, I think, pretty cool. Because the R6, after 30 minutes of filming intermi intermittent intermittently... Oh, that's a hard word right now. But after filming just a little bit, it crapped out. <laughs> I mean, I expected it. I expected that to happen, but I just didn't expect it to happen so soon. But it's okay, it's really humid out here. We were filming upstairs uh, in a really hot, humid environment too. It was probably like 85 degrees in there. Um, so, it's okay. I have no problem with it. So what we're gonna do right now is we're going behind the Riff Raff Arts Collective to get some low light um, shots of Lacey's uh, doing some action stuff, so higher shutter speed. Um, I have a few minutes left of the high quality 4K before the camera actually cuts off. So I think that I'm going to use it the two minutes on uh, that and try to get some slow motion shots as well just to mix in a teeny bit. And um, I'll be happy with that and then we can obviously take photos even if the camera's overheated. Um, and we're not using a video mode, so we'll do that later.
The USR is horrible at low light, so please forgive that. It still looks great, the colors. But we're going, so we just filmed um, Lacey hooping. Uh, the non-slow motion stuff was 6400 ISO, and then the slow motion stuff was 8000. So I'm interested to see, I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty grainy, but I just wanted to see, because it's pretty dark out here. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're gonna uh, take a photo without lights. Um, just like to see how the low light performance of this camera does. I'm filming right now with the EOSR, but this is the R6, we're gonna be taking photos with it. Uh, I think it's gonna do great. We're, we're here at the historic district in Princeton, West Virginia, and I'm gonna try to get a cool, um, like, uh, street shot, just in the middle of the street. Nothing fancy, just to show off the camera a little bit. I'm pretty blown away by its photo stuff so far, so we're gonna see what it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna take a picture of Jordan right now. Show Jordan, that's Jordan right there. Um, I'm gonna have him get a little bit more into the middle of the road, so it's like right in the middle of the road. And I'm using a wide angle lens, and I'm using the EOS R6, as everybody knows. And I'm gonna try handheld at a very, like a 20th of a second first. We're gonna see what that looks like. Unfortunately, our shadows are in this shot from this angle. So, we need, to, we need to move closer to the light source here, so that way our shadows move to the side. What are you doing? I am being tall. And I thought you were taking a picture, so I posed triumphantly for being tall. Had to switch to 1080 because the 4K is just completely unusable now, probably for like an hour. <laughs> so we're in 1080. Because I took pictures. Yeah, I don't think the heating issue is real. People have done tests and it you know, cools off really quickly and the, te the temperature doesn't actually heat up that much. I mean, I'm no expert on that, but, uh. So yeah, so what I just did is we took a bunch of photos. This is the US R6, by the way, testing out the low light for vlogging. It's on the 24 to 105. But uh, yeah, I just did a bunch of photos. You know, nothing super special or anything, but just like high ISO tests, 6400, 12,800, stuff like that and just to see what it looks like. And I, you know, I think it looks pretty good. I, I haven't put them into the computer yet to see them. I've only seen them on a really small screen. So we'll have to wait and see, but I think they look great. And using the camera is amazing too, just like how it feels when you're taking those photos and how responsive it is and how quickly you can take photos. It's amazing.